Everyone loves a winner, and success certainly helps to grow a sport. Just look at women's soccer. When the United States won the Women's World Cup in 1999, the sport exploded in popularity. The faces have changed over the years, but the women's national team is still winning. Most recently, they won the gold medal at the 2012 Olympics. If you're looking for the next generation of players to represent the United States, you may be able to find some in Northern California. The MVLA Lightning is a soccer club in the Mountain View, Los Altos area and it features several of the top soccer players in the 2014 class, including Jay Boissier. She has unbelievable skill with the, just with the ball. She scores multiple goals for us. Um, she's a workhorse. Sarah Robinson. Probably one of the quickest, most skillful players you'll ever see. Paige Crowley. She has been a leader for us since U10. She's extremely talented with the ball at her feet and in the air, she's outstanding. Gabrielle Matlich. She is a little energizer bunny who runs up and down the flank. She's an amazing athlete. She has great speed. And Zoe Pack. Just a master with the ball. And Zoe can get out of tight spaces. Zoe can see the field. And she, she's just a threat for us in the attacking mid. These talented young ladies have been playing for the Lightning for several years. Some of them since they were seven years old. They've won championships on the state and national levels during their time together. But they say a key to their success was not focusing on winning when they were young. Coach Erin Montoya and her husband Albertine stressed teamwork and ball control when the girls were first learning the game. There's a lot of emphasis on playing as a team and possession style as opposed to just like when you see other teams warm up a lot of the time you'll see them kicking long balls before the game and I don't think we've ever worked on that. I think it's really good for us because we focus mainly on possession and skill and that's what we focus on when we were younger and so we were able to just build on that. And at first, even if we like weren't winning all our games, it helped us in the long run. Aaron and Albertine definitely got me like where I am today. They've trained all of us, but they also care for each one of us off the field also. And I just feel like you can ask them anything about soccer and they'll just help you. And it's just great having them there. As the team began winning and the players kept improving, bigger opportunities have come about. All five of these players have experience with the USA Youth National Teams. It's been incredible. You get to play with you know, the top players in the country, being coached by the top coaches, you know, at the best facilities. It's just like a really great experience to have because you see the other girls from around the country who you wouldn't normally like get to know. I mean, you might play against them like at nationals or something, but you would never like know their story. And so I think it kind of like lets you see yourself relative to the country through soccer um, and kind of see like the bigger scale of like what you're a part of. Playing for a club that has multiple national team selections certainly helps Lightning players prepare for Team USA practices. Because I have some teammates who go there too, I kind of feel like I know what's kind of going on at the national level because I'm surrounded by girls who are also at that level and so it's kind of comforting. I feel like I'm lucky to have um, those girls with me so that we can like train together and like help make each other better. You hear about the other girls at the camp and they go back and they're like, club's a joke for me, high school's a joke for me, I really only, the only player that's at my level is me and then here we come and we have like multiple girls who are at that level and it's good both because we train together and um, we challenge each other in terms of speed of play but we also play against each other a lot and it's really competitive and we're always fighting against each other. I mean, healthy competition and then it just helps everyone just gets better. Get out of here. We started with most of the girls from U8. They've been a committed group. They've been just, they've been self-motivated. They've been driven. They just have a passion for the game. And we've just tried to provide an opportunity for them to play. I feel uh, fortunate just to be a part of it. And they've, they've taken off, they've made a good name for the club as well. And we're gonna miss them. We lose half of them this year. While there's hope that at least one of these girls could represent the United States in the World Cup or Olympics one day, the bigger focus now is on college. Paige is headed to Notre Dame. Gabrielle is going to UCLA. And Jay, Sarah, and Zoe will stay together for four more years at Stanford. I am really happy that I'm going with them because they're some of the girls I'm most close to. And I'm really excited to play at Stanford because it's just an amazing school and like a really great team, a really good program. So I'm really excited about that. And when college is over, maybe we'll see these girls playing professionally or playing for gold.
That's definitely our dream, you know, any girl that plays soccer, you dream to play on the national team. Oh gosh, I would die to see them play at that level. I know so many of them have dreams to, to eventually get there and I think some of them will. I guess it's just like what opportunities I'll be given and I guess I just want to run with them and see what how far I can go with this sport because it's something that I truly love and I think everyone out here really likes and so I think any opportunity that will be thrown at us, I think we'll embrace it and just kind of run with it.